Gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we're finishing out the series on the Remington Model 11. As you can see, we got it done. It is ready for us to test fire. Um, I got some really nasty looking ammo up there behind it, but uh, we're gonna do some shooting, see if it works, see if it runs. And uh, let's talk, talk a little bit about the coolness of the Remington Model 11. I'll bring you guys in. Let's take a close look at the work we did and then we'll do some shooting on it. All right. You can see the bluing looks beautiful. A good old classic rust blue does a gun great. Hold on, there we go. Um, it looks really, really nice. It turned out, if I have to have any uh, issue, it turned out a little bit rougher than I'm used to. Um, if you guys go through and do a rust blue on your gun and you choose to steam it, uh, wash the parts off before you're done, once you finish the whole process. Had a little bit of trouble with after rusting, which is, from what I read, it's actually pretty common for rust blowing uh, if you steam your parts. But as you can see, it still looks really, really good. Got a rust blue on the whole thing. Um, all the parts, all of the screws and everything are niter blued. Pretty beautiful. It, it looks really, really good. Currently have it set up for low brass. Uh, you can see this is high brass, so we will not, probably not going to shoot that. Uh, but let's throw a couple of low brass rounds in there and let's see what it does. See if it'll work. Because, you know, that's really the main question here. All right. All right. We will see if this old Model 11 still works. Um, so interesting thing, I'll start out with this. Interesting thing about the Model 11 is... To load it, the loading gate has to be let loose. Uh, you do have to hit the mag release button on the side, or bolt release rather, and that will allow you to get your shell up in the magazine. Let's throw a couple extras in here. Um, now for anybody that's, that doesn't know, oops, dropped one. Uh, this was designed by John Browning. The Model 11 is a take on the Browning Auto 5. Same as similar design, almost identical. Um, he did make a couple of differences. He sold the Auto 5 to FN overseas. FN said, well, we don't have a US market, so we don't care what you do with the patent. He then took it and marketed it to US companies. Remington, he wanted, he was building a relationship with Remington and said, Remington, I guess, came along and said, yeah, let's do this. It's a great gun. And they made it. So they did a couple of changes. It no longer has the magazine disconnect and some other stuff. Um, the old ones have safety in the trigger guard. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they basically took the same Model 5 patent and made it the, uh, I'm sorry, Auto 5 and made it the Model 11. We'll chamber one up. Let's see what happens when we hit the berm. Looks like it works. Now, I have shot this, I will admit, I have shot it already to make sure it was running. And you'll see I do have one issue that I gotta work on here. And it's that right there. Notice, three rounds, yet there's still one in the chamber. The last round, um, it might be the magazine spring is really old and weak. So it's not kicking that last round out far enough. I think that might be what it is. So we might just have to get a new mag tube spring, which is uh, easy enough. But then we get perfect lockback. So there it is. Let's bring it in. Give you guys a, a look-see. Uh, let's see if I can change it over. There we go. Look at that. The bluing turned out great. Um, if you're coming here for a Remington Model 11 video, uh, go back a couple videos and you'll see that we did a whole series taking this thing down and bluing it. And uh, it turned out really good, really, really pretty. So check that out. Looks great. Let's throw some more rounds in it. All right. Threw a couple more shells in here. And I'd be remiss if I didn't say massive, massive thank you to Old Arms of Idaho. They supplied us with the base for the project. Um, if you are like me, and it's probably why you're watching this channel, you like tinkering with old tools, old kit. Um, they have lots and lots and lots of parts 
and frames and reloading stuff and all sorts of cool stuff. If you're looking for a very particular part and they don't seem to have it, give them a call. Um, from what I've told, they have a lot of stuff that isn't on the website that's just in storage. They haven't brought it out yet, so. But let's shoot three more. Uh, I'm gonna hit some steel this time and I'm gonna get you guys, let's see here, get you guys nice and close and pop the steel. <laughs> They're so fun. The model, the Auto 5 and the Model 11 are so cool because of the recoil. It's just so much fun to shoot. And I think the mag tube is our problem here. Once we get that round to release up, I can get it to chamber. So I gotta, we'll have to fix that after this. But it puts a wallop in. It definitely puts a wallop in over there. So there you go. Really, really, really cool. Thank you so much for uh, sending this out, guys. Gives us more projects. Um, hopefully, we will have more projects to come. I'll work on figuring out, I have a feeling it's a weak mag tube spring, or maybe, uh, maybe the mag tube isn't actually pushing out far enough. It kinda, as I'm diddling my mag tube, it doesn't feel like it's pushing out as far as I would like for it to, so that might be the issue, but we'll take it back down. Let me get three more rounds. I'm gonna get three more rounds. That's all I have left and we'll pop it one more time. I'll be right back. All right, uh, we'll do it this way. Get it in focus. There we go. All right, we'll throw one in the lifter like that. A little stiff. Remember, this is a hundred and something year old gun, 110 year old gun. So got to hit the button. Shell goes in, shell goes in. And when you release it, Let's see, it pops back like that, which is kind of neat. So last three rounds, let's see, make sure you, I'm in focus. Here we go, one, two, and it's stuck, which is fine. I think I know why. Push that back and then it chambers. Yeah, I think I know exactly what's causing it. Three, good lock back, beautiful, beautiful shotgun. Uh, quick update I am. Paperwork should be going out in the next week for my FFL. Uh, so if in the near future, you want something like this done, that may be an opportunity for you. We may have a chance to, uh, to do some blueing for other folks. We'll see, we'll see as it goes. You know, it takes a couple of months for an FFL to go through. So there you go. Thank you again, everybody for watching. There is your Remington Model 11. Beautiful, beautiful shotgun. Uh, this thing turned out great and once I get that mag issue fixed, which I think I know what the issue is, this thing is gonna run for years. It's gonna be awesome, so. All right, guys, I hope, uh, hope you guys like it. Stay tuned, we have some pump action 22s coming up next, so I'll see you guys on the next one.